Okay, yeah, Adam, you actually picked a great way because I'm not going to call PETA a pansy because I don't think he was um, or is. And um, I think that Gail, I mean, point blank, I think it's as simple as the best boyfriends are the ones that are your best friends, The, you know, the people that you have the biggest connection with. And I think um, with Gail, I just see this connection since childhood. I mean, we talk about them both going into these, you know, the PETA and Katniss go into this terrible, you know, the horror of the Hunger Games, but Gail and Katniss also experience a tour as children, and they came together. And when she needed help with her family, who did she turn to? Not PETA, she turned to Gail. So, that's just, you know. Interesting. Well, let's, let's get some more discussion here. Uh, Gail's, speak up. Who wants to go next? Okay, um, hi, this is Jen. Uh, no. um, I want to put some two cents about what the Peters has said about Gail. I mean, it, it is true that he is a very passionate and fiery person. And at the same time, like, when you think about the fact that he is the same way as Katniss is, that was her best friend. The fact that they had known each other, you know, and to the point of having to help each other survive not within the game, and that's the only difference, which was because he did help her survive in a way with everything else. And without trying to, like, put in any mild spoilers for anybody who, for some forsaken reason, hasn't finished the series, he really was one of, like, one of Katniss's crutches. And despite the fact that people seem to think that because he may have pressured Katniss, I guess, to have feelings for him or whatever, that's not the case. He just really cared about her, and he understood the turmoil that she was going through while they were living in District 12. So I feel like his compassion kind of cancels out any of the too much pressure and fiery passion that anybody else thinks that he has. Great. If, who's next? If, if you don't speak up, you're basically going to be like Gail for all those years when he, he could have basically had her and, and go for it. <laughs> not decide. I just really loved both Peta and Gail. I think they are both very good guys. And I think what really turns people off of Gail is what he did at the end. They're saying he was too violent. He just, uh, he was putting his need for revenge and defeat in front of everything else and that's what killed Prim in the end. But I think people need to understand, you know, he's not just driven by hatred. It, you have to think it must have killed him to be watching the Hunger Games and seeing his best friend, who he has just recently realized that he likes more as a best friend, in the Hunger Games, falling for this other guy. So that probably caused a lot right there. So whenever he got Katniss back, Katniss survived, and Peter was gone, probably one of the most important things to him was defeating the Capitol, getting out of this, because that was his number one hope for being with Katniss. And... You could tell Katniss, too, uh, when, like, for instance, whenever Madge comes over and she feels that jealousy over Madge, and she even says, Gil is mine, I'm his, anything else is unthinkable. You can really tell that they, they are more than best friends. And lots of people just say, oh, well, it's just that they were best friends and Katniss is scared. She's scared that she's going to lose her best friend. But the thing is, with Gail, I think you uh, people try and say, oh, well, obviously, Peter loved him more, loved her more. He loved her from the very beginning. I think Gail loved Katniss just as much, and I think he really shows it by just putting everything into fighting with the Capitol. And that, that did lead to Prim's death in the end, which is probably the only thing that kept her and Gail apart. There's, I think there's because Peter was damaged in the head, and I think Katniss was having a lot of trouble getting over that. So probably if it wasn't for Gail killing Prim, they probably would have ended up together, because as the person before me said, they're each other's best friends. They weren't going to separate. There was no chance until, so, until he killed Prim. So I think if, if it wasn't all for that, they were each other's rock. Like the entire time Katniss was in the Hunger Games, basically all she thought about was Gail. 
So I think that goes to show a lot right there, and just that Katniss did love him, and she did grow to love Peta eventually, and we all know, you know, Peta won in the end. But I just think that their friendship through the whole series, Gail made obvious that it was the most important thing to him. Nothing mattered more than Katniss until his mistake at the end cost him her. No, great point. Um, I want to make sure we get our, our young crowd. I know they're a little nervous. Uh, and I want to make a point, too, and say that when I went to Books of Wonder for the Mockingjay release, uh, I was very surprised to see that there were more Team Gales than Team Pitas at that time, especially, especially in Mocking uh, Jay. And I think Pitas sort of had a shift after the third book, obviously, because of what happens. But uh, there are Gales out there, a lot of Gales. So let's ask the Akshi and Sterling, as, as younger types, younger teenagers, what is it about Gale that makes him so much more appealing to you? Um, I think that Peter definitely has his qualities, and, like, he's sweet and he's kind, and I don't want to, like, criticize him. But I think that at times, Gale can be stronger. Um, well, what I think, yeah, like, just like Oxy, I don't want to criticize, like, Peter at, Peter at all. But I think um, Gale also has, you know, a tougher side, like how Peter, I think, in the second book, um, when he when he said like I don't think there's gonna be baking bags out there to be throw at people, Katniss, like Gail, <laughs> Gail, um, he just I don't know, like he could kill wild animals, like he goes hunting daily, so and I, I guess like you know what happens. So I just like so. Uh, so I guess like what well, happened in the third book with Peter getting crazy, I guess, and it turned him upside down. Yeah, like we think that when he was hijacked, like me and Sterling often discuss this in school. It's like all we talk about, and um, <laughs> we think that after um, Peter like got hijacked, we knew that he tried to like get back to Katniss, but it just seems like it would never be the same again. Like it couldn't be the same, and after Gale sort of you know, killed Prem, not exactly killed him, it still wasn't the same. So they both had their, like, issues then. Oh, this is no. Melanie. Sorry. Oh, oh. I didn't go ahead. Okay. Um, yeah, this is Melanie. And um, I just wanted to say, like, you know, on a certain level, I, I agree with what she was saying along the lines of, um, they both had issues that they had to go along with, you know, that they had to get over. And I think if you think about it that way, Gail actually did the stronger thing by saying, will it ever matter? Will you ever forgive me for what I may have done? And he left the situation because he couldn't he couldn't stand to look at Katniss anymore because of it. And, I mean, you can't really I, – I don't know. I have issues with it because you can't really blame Gail for – taking a job that he was good at and he was asked to do at that time, you know? I mean, I don't think he had any attention that it would, ha- what it, what would happen with that, with those bombs, you know? I think it might have really hurt Gail that he sort of killed Prem, too. Like, even though he didn't show it, I think it hurt him, too. Because Prem might have been, like, another sister to... Um, does anyone else hear that? Yeah. yeah, I think we do. Let's just talk. And we'll talk through it. This, these are the kinds yeah, of things that can happen. Yeah, this is the beauty of, <laughs> of doing a live show. It could, it could be President Snow calling the one like. The <laughs> it actually could be. Oh, well, yeah, that was probably my. I got a call right in right in between. That was. Funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. Maybe it was Bill calling to defend himself from District. Where did he Where did he end up? District Two. <laughs> yeah, he was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.